What is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new Vegas 18 tutorial. Now in this video, I'm going to show you guys something really, really cool. Before this video starts, I want to mention that there is this huge cyber week sale going on onto the Magic's website. So if you want to get like up to 30% discount on the Vegas Pro 18 and like bundles with like Sapphire plugins and all that included, such as like Movie Studio and other different ones, make sure to check out the link down in the description. We have this entire sale going on. I also posted it as a community post. Make sure to go to the website after this video to get your discounts. So with that, all the way guys let's go ahead and get started with making this really really cool particle logo effect in vegas part 18 of course right after the intro All right, guys. So now that we are in Vegas Pro 18, what I did is I created a quick template for you guys so you don't have to go ahead and drag in all these files manually and one by one and make sure to put all the compositing modes to the right ones on the left on the tracks. So what you can do is go to the download link in the description. There is a free download link to this template. And if you open this up in Vegas Pro, it will exactly look like this. But if you want to mess around a little bit more with like the, you know, the types of compositing mode of each track to make it look a little bit different, I'm going to still going to show you and run you guys through how all these separate tracks came together instead of just inserting your logo timing it up and have a one minute 30 second or whatever tutorial so the first thing that we have in the folder is of course all the files that we need so at the bottom we will start off with this background let me solo that track for you for a second so this is just a background there's nothing happening in terms of like animation or things moving just a blue background so if you notice on the very left if i click on the compositing mode icon which is this one this one is set to to source alpha and that will be the default setting on basically every single track source alpha is just the main setting for just any video track if you insert a new one or ha already have stuff on it so yeah and you have to manually change it to something else but i think source alpha for this one works absolutely the best the next one that we have above it let me solo that one which is basically these really subliminal particles that are just flying around the screen they kind of have like this blue touch to it which looks really really cool so then if i go to the compositing mode of that track this one is set to add instead of source alpha or multiply mask so if i put this one to multiply mask if i play it back you won't see anything so you make sure that you put this one to add and keep it that way so the track above that one is a little text track so if i solo that one this is just some text slowly fading in because we have at the bottom this little orange you know light leak or lens flare that we will put on the screen and i'll show you guys in also just a second so nothing too special about that if you want to change up the font of this one you can just click on this generated media button and then you will have our text menu right here that you can choose and you can just you know double click or highlight it just move with your arrow key up and down to go back between these fonts and just choose one that actually fits your content so the one above it is this one this is the orange lens flare I was talking about that comes in with the text so it's all the way lined up until the very end so if I play that together with the text it just amplifies kind of the text and how it comes in the screen a little bit before the actual text just to make that text a little bit more stand out now if you go to the track above that is also set to add which is this particle opener so if I play back only that track this is the like the blue and the orange kind of like flames and explosion thingy happening so you can also make that bigger or smaller depending on how like how big your logo is and all that and that one is also set to add so the track above that is of course also set to add if i play a back solo this is what it looks like some really cool particles coming into the screen like the blue ones but this is actually the effect that makes just a cool intro and makes it look really really cool and that's basically it for all the tracks now how do we create our own logo in there and how to how do we make it explode from these particles now the cool thing is that i also inserted this alex logo dot png image into my project so if i drag it in here this is just basically my yellow logo that i have right here so i also left a little bit of space between these tracks so you guys can go ahead and insert your logo now the thing is that if you want to make your logo appear like that what you need to do is you need to make sure that the track of your logo is not set to source alpha because then it will just look normal and there's nothing special to it doesn't look like it's blend into this intro so what you need to do is you need to go and click on this icon and you want to set that one to screen instead of add so if you click on there as you can see it will blend into the actual intro if we now play it back we can add in just a little fade in for example like 0, 0 0.11 let's time it up 
Okay, it comes in a little bit too early, so let's drag a little bit more to the right. So we wanna make sure that we will make this logo fade in right when this happens, like that blue particle explosion. So let's see what that looks like. I think this one looks pretty, pretty cool. But you can also, instead of a fade in, you can make this guy zoom in as well. So if you go to the event pan crop icon of our text right here, as you can see, it's already in there. So go to the very beginning of your track right here. So make sure you're all the way at the start. And then you want to drag this guy the smallest as possible and then just for example click right here and then you want to right click and you want to hit restore and now you can see how fast it zooms in as you can see and you can make it also a little bit later or a little bit earlier just to make sure it's nicely timed up with the particles and that is how simple it is guys this is how you can make this really cool particle intro you know or this effect in general add in your sound effect you can add in a boom you can add an explosion and there's nothing more to it actually it's pretty simple you can choose what kind of different transitions you will have on the logo because I can also add in a fade in and then go to the transitions tab right here and then we can also go for example pick a sapphire plugin and I think that this blue one that I use all the time for my outro my intro as well this one can make the text look stand out and that's how you become to create this cool particle effect in Vegas Pro 18. So that's all it for guys today and like I mentioned the download link to this template is in the description. All right guys so that's it for this video now you guys know how to create this really cool particle logo reveal in Vegas Pro 18. Like I've mentioned guys, we have huge sales going on onto the Magic's website for like Vegas Pro 18, Movie Studio and all different bundles with also plugins. So make sure to check out the link down in the description and get your discounts because they will only last for a couple more days. That's it guys. Thanks a lot for the continued support and I'll see you guys obviously in the next video.